We are recording at level 70 decibels on the Zoom H4N Pro. My name is Kiki Alexander. You know me as the Panda Photographer, and this is an audio test. We are testing how it sounds without any filters applied in OBS. So, with that said, now let's apply the next filter. All right, everyone. So, what we're going to do now is apply the limiter as a filter to see is there any difference. So, I want you guys to pay attention to the background noise. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. And now I'm going to actually unapply this filter so you guys can hear the background noise. All right, guys, now you can see there, if you're looking at the OBS display, you can actually see there was some noise creeping in. So we are trying to limit that for creeping in and only be active, but be clear enough to hear us be very vocal. So this is our target goal with the Zoom H4N Pro, using this as an audio interface device and its main microphone. Now, I do have it elevated up, so keep that in your thoughts that I do have this on a monopod uh, table tripod and it's elevated about 17 to 20 inches up high and maybe 11 inches across uh, from my left so right next to the laptop on a monopod tabletop feet on top of the monopod itself so with that said And now we are in the territory of noise compression. Now, I decided to go with the noise compression instead of a noise gate because I feel like the noise gates also may not be as good for the H4N Pro at this time. We are just testing the audio, so I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the background. And now, let me explain that we are in a large study uh, private room. I do have glass on my right, and I do have glass in my back. So, now let's uncheck the noise compression. And as you can see, immediately there was noise creeping in at the audio levels on the microphone. And then now you see that's gone after we apply the noise compression. So this is a good example of what you should be going if you're going to be using the Zoom H4N Pro as your main microphone and audio interface device. And I recommend it. All right, everyone. So now we have applied the expander to the filters with the limiter and noise suppression. Now my face is directly pointing towards my screen but if I turn to the device you can hear a little bit much clarity and as I turn to my laptop again to my display you can hear me very well but if I turn to my left as I said because my zoom h4n pro is elevated about 20 inches high and maybe about a full foot away from my face but keep in mind with professional microphones you do not you do not have to do such adjustments, but we are using the pre the default um, filter settings, and we've seen what we can get out of this. So this is, should just be in a good example of what you can accomplish with the Zoom H4n Pro as your audio face audio interface device in your microphone at 90 degrees. Hello everyone. So what we just did was just add four percent or four decibels more to the gain to see what kind of clarity we're going to get from this audio experience. 
Now, keep in mind that this is just take this with a grain of salt video. I am the Panda Photographer. I'm just trying to improve my audio. I was using the newer NWA100, and this entire time I can have saved time with setting that up, which takes me about five to ten minutes, and I can take that time to do more, uh, making sure that the audio is good. So I've been testing the audio for the last couple of days, and this is what my results are. So take this with a grain of salt, ladies and gentlemen. I am using the Zoom H1N Pro as a audio interface device and as my daily microphone from now on. It's much easier to set up, and I think it's adequate for all your audio experiences. But if you are a audio uh, enthusiast, you want to upgrade to, say, a microphone, you like that kind of style, be so. But with me, as a travel photographer, I have to use something very portable. So I will probably get rid of my my NW8100 microphone, the newer NW8100 microphones. And I might just do a giveaway. So how about that? Simple, easy giveaway. Hello, everyone. So basically, what I'm doing here is changing some of the settings so you guys can hear a better audio experience. Now, keep in mind, this is a Zoom H4N Pro, about a full 10 inches to 11 inches from my face to my left on my laptop. It's elevated about 22 inches above my laptop and directly pointing towards my face. Now, I am talking directly in front of my display on my laptop. And now I'm talking directly into the microphone, still 11 inches from the microphone on the Zoom H4N Pro as an audio interface device. Now keep in mind that you will not be able to use all of the hidden features or the features for audio when you plug this as a I.O. in USB mode. But if you have a DC5 or using batteries, you can be able to use those all the features if you want to use this audio interface as what it is and use normalizer in the process if you're doing b-roll to be recording. Now we are using OBS to actually filter our audio. So I'm trying to talk where there's a lot of background noise going on right now and hopefully that should sound very good. But I'm talking directly into my microphone. I'm sitting in the same sack, same position that I normally would do a live stream. So keep that in mind. My head would move from time to time, but audio should sound very crispy and very good. So with that said, here are the settings. Suppression is back down to negative 30, but we did slightly a change. I expanded attack time to six and I released to 60. And we actually change everything to gain by uh, eight. So this should sound pretty crispy. But with that said, everyone, just trying to provide you with some sense of audio experience that I have using this Zoom H4N Pro as my main daily driver for audio. Not only that, I wanted to show you guys the Zoom H4N Pro as a whole. Now I'm not sponsored by Zoom. I'm not getting any free stuff by them. But I just love this interface device because it has all what you need for everything for YouTube. And keep in mind or for B roll or for filmmaking. As a travel photographer, I do them all. But I am shooting this at 90 degrees on the microphone tip. You can rotate these to 120 degree as well. But I have it at 90. It should sound really good. And for you filmmakers out there, it's it's just an audio piece of equipment you should have in your bag. Now, comparing this to a audio interface device that is low budget, under the range of fifty to eighty dollars, there's no comparison when it comes down to the Zoom H4n Pro. And Zoom makes some really really good products. And this is why I always recommend that if you're going to be using XLR cables for your external microphones, also also fine-tuned with OBS and see what works for you. Always do pre-recordings before you go out live. Now, yesterday's live stream, I'm just testing, but we noticed that there were some problems with the audio. But with that said, it's a good looking piece of device. It has a tons of features, has great, great battery life, especially if you put it in stamina mode. 
And not only that, you'll be able to actually process all your audio within the device itself instead of taking it to your computer and doing the normalizing and the processing and everything is already built in to this device. So yes, this is the pro version and is so much better. For $250, this is worth the money and worth the investment. So with that said everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer and I'm only trying to provide content that makes sense. For you OBS users and you have a Zoom H4n or you're looking for an audio interface device and you're thinking about buying also a microphone on top of that, you can save money, buy the Zoom H4n Pro, work out the tweaks and OBS and get fine good quality from the audio experience from this Zoom H4n Pro device. So don't take my word for it and as I said, this is an independent review. I spent my own money on this device. No one's paying me to say this. No one's paying me to do anything. I'm doing this because I want to reach out to a community of audio enthusiasts that can relate to having good audio and understand that audio makes up 50% of your YouTube content or all your content, movie content, comedy content. It makes it up. So with that said, everyone, this is a good device for $150. And you can get it used for $200 if you're lucky. But great audio experience from my, on my side of things. But I'm also, the laptop I'm using is a uh, Lenovo Y700 gaming laptop. So, and this laptop has really good speakers too, JBL speakers. So, you know, I'm all about that quality. So, <laughs> with that said, this is the panel photographer. You want to support what I do. You can do either. You can support me financially. Keep the lights on here. I have a PayPal donation link down in the description below. Or you can also subscribe, like, and share the comment, and leave a comment. Tell me what would you do with this audio. What changes would you do to slightly tweak it? So with this said, with this said take this video, as I said in the beginning, with a grain of salt. This is just to give you some direction. But keep in mind... Everything I have done here is in order. The limiter, the noise compression, the expander, and the gain. So with that said, East Sleep Photography, Videography, and Repeat. Come check me out. 646 Studios here on my website. Or if you want to conduct business, please find me a weekend. It really does help me. This is my portfolio. This is all me. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.